Hello, everybody. Recording live from somewhere. Friday Night Lives, how's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? Is everybody peaceful out here? I hope so. Thank you for your subs. Thank you for your likes, the shares, the comments, all the good suggestions. Uh, your time more than anything, we're here for the music as usual, right? Today, yo, I'm stuck right now. I was about to, just so y'all know right quick, I was about to go live just to get quick suggestions. I'm contemplating doing that because it's difficult. For me to pick songs, man, not for nothing. It's not easy. It's so many freaking options. You know, it's just so many. But we're here now, so I gotta figure this out. Etta James, I'd Rather Be Blind, live at Montreux 1975. I believe this is the same place that Nina Simone was performing, which Nina, Nina was one of my top 10 um, performances. That she was super emotional. It was dope. Uh, anyway, Etta James, I'd Rather Be Blind, live at Montreux, 1975. This is a good one. Let's go. Something told me it was over, babe. When I saw you and that girl talking, babe, ah. something deep down in my soul. Said, go on and cry, girl. When I saw you and that same girl walking by, oh, yeah. and I would rather, I would rather be a blind girl, babe. Than to see you walk away, walk away from me, baby. Oh, yeah. Cause you see, I love you so much. I don't wanna watch you leave me, babe. And another thing is, I, I just don't wanna be. Now listen, I was just, I was just sitting here thinking, yeah, about your sweet kiss, whoa, and your warm embrace, babe. Ah, oh, yeah. When the reflection in the glass that I held to my lips, babe. Reveal the tears that was on oh, my face, yeah, babe. Oh, yeah. Um, Etta James, her voice is super dope. Like, it's very, it's full. Like, it's a very full voice. Like, it's strong as hell. It's like she has a, a freaking bass or something, some type of amplifier in her stomach. 
and her throat. She's just it's in here. My headphones. Every note she's hitting is so full. It's bugged out. Um, I tried to compare them in my mind. Uh, her and Nina Simone. I couldn't do it. Nina Simone was way uh, mental. Like her voice felt like it came from a mental place, like mental uh, a pain, where she looks like she comes from an emotional pain. Like she went through something, and Nina's like more going through something, like consistent. I could be wrong. It's just the way the the the, the songs that I chose that I chose, and the way they sang the songs. That's the vibe I get. You guys, let me know what you think in comparison to the two, the Nina Simone I did and this one. If you're following my channel, anyway, let's go. <laughs> I'd rather be a blind girl. Oh, I'd rather be a blind girl than to watch you walk away from me, boy. Look out. She looks drunk. Oh, now listen, I'm gonna tell y'all one more time. I was just sitting here a minute ago thinking, baby. I was thinking about your sweet kiss. Thinking about your sweet kiss and your ooh la 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 la. When I looked down in the glass that I held to my lips, I was looking in the glass and I saw the reflection of the tears rolling down my face. is dope i like the i could listen to that shit without vocals too i don't know let me know what you think even without the vocals i think i could just groove to it you know on some on some relaxing chilling shit even though the song is the lyrics are more you know sad she's talking about you know the shit she went through but the music it would be dope by itself didn't she play didn't um not her um beyonce played her in a movie correct I think she did. I believe that's the girl. I get the vibe that's there. Um, let me know Etta James' history. Let me know the band's history. Is this her band or is this like a house band? Let me know the deal. Let me know all the information. Let's go.
I'd rather I don't want to watch you leave me I can't stand to see you go Whoa, babe I'd rather be a blind girl James, I'd Rather Be Blind, live in Mountain True, 1975. This was dope. I enjoyed it. Let me know what you think if you enjoyed this. Um, super dope voice. The music was dope. I don't know if that's her band or the house band. Let me know. Um, that's tough. She's like, yeah, I'd rather be blind than watch you leave me. Um, I'm sure people in relationships have gone through wild shit like that. Uh, it was good, though. She got mad. I heard... She has a crazy life story, like most musicians do. But her shit was crazy, too, from what I understand. If it's about that movie with uh, Beyonce, I would like to know the true, you know, the real shit. I know movies don't really portray everything. So let me know the story on her. Uh, let's get some more out of James. Let's get some more of this stuff. Um, thank you for the subs, your likes, your shares. Your time more than anything. We're here for this right here. These uh, the variety we here for the 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 emotions and all the groovy music, right? Oh, look right here in the suggestions has a picture of Beyonce doing it. So yeah, I was right. She did a movie. I'm not crazy. Um, it was dope. Uh, Double R T rap rap trap. We're out Friday night live. Hey, hey.